This is for those of you that are taking your Jeep off-road, you have big tires, especially those of you that are going after the rocks and are worried about bending your factory tie rod. Whether you've already damaged your factory tie rod or you're just looking to upgrade so you have the peace of mind to know that you're not going to damage your tie rod, going with this one from TerraFlex is going to be a great idea. This thing is roughly 200 times stronger than the factory tie rod. The tie rod ends themselves are also very, very beefy and also adjustable. This is very much like a factory or most other aftermarket tie rods. This is gonna have one right-hand thread, one left-hand thread, which is going to make this very easy to adjust even after it's installed on your Jeep. And overall, you're just going to get a ton of strength. And this is going to be very similarly priced to a lot of the other tie rods on the market. So even though you're getting a lot of strength, you're getting adjustability, you're getting something that's easy to install, you're not having to pay a ton more for it. This is going to be comparably priced to a lot of the other tie rods, and I definitely like the features that this one has. This tie rod itself is going to be 1.6 inches to the outer diameter, and it's made of a 4140 chromoly steel, which of course is a very strong steel alloy. The tie rod ends themselves have a 1045 carbon steel ball and stud, which again, it's just all about strength with this tie rod. This is going to be very, very beefy. These tie rod ends are also going to be rebuildable and adjustable just like the TerraFlex ball joints are. So this could be the last tie rod that you'll ever need to buy for your Jeep. If you do end up wearing something out, you can just rebuild or adjust those tie rod ends and get rid of any slop that you might end up having. Now, because these tie rod ends are going to be bigger than the factory ones, you are going to need at least a 17 inch factory wheel to clear them or an aftermarket wheel that's roughly 17 inches as well. Of course, backspacing will affect your clearance a little bit also, but you are going to need to make sure that you have enough room to clear these larger tie rod ends. As I mentioned before, TerraFlex says that this is roughly 200 times stronger than that factory tie rod. And when you actually take this thing out of the box, look at it and feel it, I absolutely believe them. This thing is very, very beefy. TerraFlex is also going to include a new steering stabilizer bracket that's going to be necessary to install that steering stabilizer on the larger tie rod. This is going to be a very simple one out of three wrench installation that shouldn't take you more than an hour to complete. The first step is of course removing that factory tie rod, which you'll do by removing the cotter pins from the castle nuts, loosen up the castle nut, but leave the nut in place. And finally, strike the steering knuckle perpendicular to the tie rod end on your tie rod to loosen that up. That's gonna be a taper fit. If you try and drive down on the top of the castle nut, you can flare the end of the tie rod end, making it much more difficult to get out of the knuckle. You can break or bend things. Go ahead and strike the steering knuckle perpendicular to that tie rod end. That's gonna be the best way to pop that taper joint out. Once you have everything loosened up, completely remove the castle nuts and remove the tie rod. Once you have the tie rod out, you can assemble your new tie rod and measure end to end to the center of the tie rod and studs and get the length as close as you possibly can. That's going to ensure that your toe is roughly similar to what the toe is currently set at with your factory tie rod. Once you have everything adjusted, go ahead and tighten down the jam nuts and install the new tie rod into your steering knuckles using the castle nuts and cotter pins that are included. Once you're finished with that, you can grease this and you're good to go. Now, in case you do need to adjust this at a later date, I would recommend using some anti-seize on the threads, but a jam nut is not effective if the jam nut has anti-seize underneath of it. It's tempting to just put anti-seize all over the threads to ensure that everything's gonna be able to move down the line, but the jam nut is not going to hold. So be careful where you put the anti-seize. I would recommend using it, but not under the jam nut. This tie rod's gonna run you around $420, and that's more or less the going rate for an aftermarket tie rod that is going to be something that's heavy duty. Now, I like this one in particular because of the tie rod ends that are included with this tie rod. They're gonna be adjustable and they're gonna be rebuildable, which is not something that a lot of the other companies have. So I would recommend going with this one if you want something that you're gonna to have to only buy once and then be able to mess with, rebuild, if it ever were to wear out on you. So that's my review of the TerraFlex HD tie rod kit fitting your 2007 and up JK that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.